if you are confirmed to lead HUD, you'll be responsible for issuing billions of dollars in grants and loans to help develop housing and provide a lot of housing-related services. Now, housing development is an area in which President-elect Trump and his family have significant business interests. Can you assure me that not a single taxpayer dollar that you give out will financially benefit the president-elect or his family? Well, uh, Senator, uh, I was worried that you wouldn't get back. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Uh -huh. uh, I can assure you uh, that the things that I do are driven by a sense of morals and values. Oh. And therefore, I will absolutely not play favorites for anyone. Dr. Carson, I, let me stop right there. I, I'm actually trying to ask a more pointed question, and it's not about your good faith. That's not my concern. My concern is whether or not among the billions of dollars that you will be responsible for handing out in grants and loans, can you just assure us that not one dollar will go to benefit either the president-elect or his family? It will not be my intention to do anything I, to, to benefit any, any American. I understand that. It's for all Americans, but everything may, that we do. Do I take that to mean that you may manage programs that will significantly benefit the president-elect? You can take it to mean that I will manage things in a way that benefits the American people. That is going to be the goal. Uh, to to the, the best uh, you understand uh, that. It, you it, if there happens to be an extraordinarily uh, good program that's working for millions of people, and it turns out that, that, that someone that you're targeting is going to gain you know, $10 from it, am I going to say, no, the rest of you Americans can't have it? I think logic and common sense probably would be the best way. Yeah, although we do have a problem here, and I appreciate your good faith in this, and I do, Dr. Carson. The problem is that you can't assure us that HUD money, not of $10 varieties, but of multi-million dollar varieties, will not end up in the president-elect's pockets. And the reason you can't assure us of that is because the president-elect is hiding his family's business interests from you, from me, from the rest of America.